of Mimi's Kitchen. Well, y'all, Thanksgiving has come and gone. And I just wanted to thank you for all of your greetings at Thanksgiving and your comments. Oh, y'all, we had a wonderful day. And, and I could tell by your comments that you enjoyed your family, too. And that's what it was just all about. Just the time to be thankful for everything, our families and everything. So, Thanksgiving is behind us, and you know what that means. That means Christmas will just roll in here before we know it. So today, we're going to start thinking about Christmas. Now, when I was thinking about what I was going to do for my video today, you know my oven and my stove got a workout last week because I had Sunday lunch, then turned right around and had Thanksgiving, and I made cakes for several people. So, y'all, this thing here really got a workout. <laughs> so, guess what? We're not going to cook today. We're going to do something. If you can peel an orange and open a can, you can make this. Y'all, this is ambrosia. And it brings back memories to so many people. I mean, I remember ambrosia just about as long as I can, <laughs> as I can remember, actually. Because it's something we always had. And it always was at Christmas time. So, I'm sure that you have that memory, too because um, it's just, it, it was just made with just the ingredients you had at home. So y'all, now, not that you need a recipe for it, but it is in the cookbook, Sunday Lunch at Mimi's, and turn to page 64. Now, I'm gonna tell you before I start, my mom and daddy used to come every Christmas and they would always help me make ambrosia because I gave it to a lot of older people who I'm the older person now. <laughs> We're talking 30 years ago, y'all. And they would come and my daddy would always bring his own knife. He said, Diane, you don't have a sharp knife in your house. And I don't know what he was right, but I'll tell you, I've remedied that situation because I have a sharp knife now. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show y'all now. I have already peeled seven oranges. And you can buy any kind of orange. Now, be sure you get orange. Don't get tangelos and that kind of stuff. And, and I'm going to just solve that right now so you won't have to ask that question. So, oranges. And be careful buying them, y'all. Because now, <laughs> oranges and grapefruits look almost alike. So... You have to be careful. And didn't not, you say you like a juice orange if they have yes, it? Yes, I like a juice orange if you can find them. Mm -hmm. Now, this happens to be a navel orange, and that was all I could find in the store. Sometimes you have to buy, like, from a van or some of those organizations that are selling. But, y'all, we're going to just peel this one. And, y'all, you peel as much of that white off as you can because it's kind of bitter tasting. So you don't want that on your orange. So let's get this peeled. See how sharp my knife is? My daddy would be so proud. <laughs> he would love it. He'd say, oh, Lord, Diane, you did it. Guess what? I used his knife sharpener. Okay. Now, now then. You're a professional, so people are going <laughs> to... All right, y'all. That's not that hard to do. Just kind of... All right. Now, what you do, y'all, is you section this right where those little... Sec right where the little membrane is there that separates the little plugs. And these are seedless oranges, which are wonderful, because if not, you got to be sure you pick your seeds out. All right. Let's take that off. All right. So you cut real close to the membrane, and then you pull it over. And yeah, and yep. then you just kind of, see, just as close as you can cut, and then just kind of, Punch it out of there. Y'all, I still give some of my friends this for 
Christmas. You know, there's certain people you just can't buy stuff for. All right, now we squeeze that as much as you can squeeze it because you want as much of that juice as possible. Okay, KK, let me dry my hands and we'll be right back. Okay. Now y'all, this is something you can make as much of as you want to or as little as you want to. If you live alone and you don't want a bunch of this, just do like two oranges, get you a, a, a can of pineapple and some coconut and, and you'll have it made. So now I've got a funny story about the dough. My daddy was um, the one about the sharp knife. Well, my mother was a very frugal, I guess you'd say frugal person. So when I'm buying all my stuff to get ready to make ambrosia, I thought, oh Lord, if I buy dough, mama would say, Diane, you should have bought the store brand because it's cheaper. You know, we let them rule our lives for a long time. <laughs> so anyway, so I went to the store and it was about 20 cents a can cheaper to get the, the store brand. So I bought the store brand because we were making a lot of ambrosia. So we came home and mom and daddy got here and we were peeling, I take the stuff out and mama looked at it. She said, Diane, you know what? For just a few cents more, you could have gotten dough <laughs> and it's much better. <laughs> Y'all, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> anyway, so from then on, <laughs> the next year we used dough. All right, we're gonna do three cans of the crushed pineapple. Now that was eight oranges, because I had already peeled seven. All right, and then we're gonna have a cup of coconut, and I just used that Baker's sweetened coconut. Now, y'all, not all oranges are nice and sweet. So, we're going to put a half a cup of sugar. Ah, look at that, perfect. All right, we're gonna put a half a cup of sugar in there. That way we're just absolutely certain that we get that good sweet flavor we need. Now, I'm gonna tell you one thing. If you get oranges that are not real juicy, you can put orange juice in it. And uh, it just so happens my oranges are nice and juicy, and of course, you've got your juice from your pineapple, too. And y'all, listen, you take this to your <laughs> your family gathering, and everybody's just going to love you. Okay, y'all, I wanted to show you, if you want to give this as a gift, which, oh my goodness, it would make a one, it makes a wonderful gift. We'll put, um... Just be sure you dip juice and the pineapple and the oranges in there. Okay, y'all. Um, isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, it's not only beautiful, but it's really, really good. And what a wonderful gift to give somebody that has everything. You can bring me that if you want to. <laughs> Anybody, I love to get homemade stuff. And so it's, it's a great gift and so it's something that you can make ahead too. That is another good thing. You could make this at least a week ahead. I wouldn't make it much more than a week, but you could make it a week ahead, put it in your fridge and then tie your bow on it and just carry it to a shut-in, a neighbor or anybody, one of your friends. <laughs> so, all right. So the next few weeks now, we're gonna be doing some things that we can share with other people and we're getting ready to get on this roller coaster that's carrying us toward Christmas. And so closer to the time, I'll show you some of the decorations in my house. I've been busy as a little bee and getting everything ready. And I'm sure that you have been too. So have a good rest of the week. Enjoy whatever it is you're doing. Get out there and get your shopping done and get ahead of the game so that you're not at the last minute trying to rush around. So we've got plenty of time, y'all. Don't feel that we are in a crunch here or anything. So we'll get ready for Christmas and y'all have a good rest of the week and everybody shine for Jesus.